What you're about to see is from Rebel Base, iGen's weekly Star Wars show. Something in Comic Con that I was really interested in, as always, is the toys. Because there's lots of good toys. Some you're a child. Yeah, and I just really like collecting toys. toys. A lot of the toys that we have in the studio are for this stuff are, are my toys. Children. Yeah, push it up. Um, and some of this stuff is actually coming some later this year. Main, yeah. Some of it's not. You're going to have to get it on eBay because it was Comic Con exclusive. So we're going to go through some of the stuff that um, was basically just at the show and we really liked. So the yeah. first up is the Sideshow Hot Toy stuff, which is ridiculous anyway. Yeah. These are the super high-end collectibles. They do loads of stuff. There's so a comic book stuff. Yeah. And they showed off some new Star Wars ones. Now, there's two in particular. Maybe three, actually. Um, two in particular that really caught my eye. One was a six-scale TIE Fighter, which is ridiculous. I, I don't know how much this that's going to be, but I'm just terrified. But I'm sure it's a lot. Good. Well, the, you know this is when you know stuff is too expensive. If you yeah. go onto the Hot Toys website, it doesn't first show you the price of something. It shows you a monthly pa plan on how to pay for it. <laughs> so you can pay about $40 a month for about 10 years. Oh. And then the other thing that was cool from... Um, Hot Toys is they've done a scale replica of the Millennium Falcon cockpit, which is to scale with their other figures so you can put like Han and Chewie in, in it. Inside the cockpit? It's, yeah, and it's insanely detailed as mm. all their stuff is. So but it's just a cockpit? Yeah, so you can kind of look through and you can also look through the other way. Right, okay, yeah. Um, maybe use some pictures instead of my hands to really illustrate this. Yeah, I'll do what I want. Um, but yeah, that was really cool. So we're going in the high-end stuff there. Yeah, that's really cool. The second one is the new Black Series toys, which includes the awesome First Order TIE Fighter. But what's that red about then? We don't know yet. It's just cool, isn't it? So in the behind-the-scenes Comic-Con stuff as well, you see one of those like just being destroyed as well. Yeah. So I wonder what's going that's on like what Also, that's cool. I know with toys and with grown-ups that have a wage buying toys, your idea of good value is completely skewed. Yeah. But that's $160, which I actually think it's too bad. I don't know, man. I mean, look at it. If it was Lego, yeah, fine, because you can build that. But, like, imagine just getting at home and be like, you are. What should I do with this? Stick it on a shelf? All right. I don't get it. Yeah. I, I do Play like... with it. <laughs> what are you going to do? Like... It's toys are catalysts of the imagination, Gavin. <laughs> um... So okay. The, okay. Uh, next up is, like, loads of cool Boba Fett stuff. We yeah. talked about this, like... Boba Fett's really cool to do stuff with anyway. So yeah. there was another Hot Toys um, collectible that they unveiled there, which is insanely detailed and really expensive. But there were a few other things that I really liked. I really liked this one over your shoulder. Yes. Which is based on the three and three quarter inch um, Kenner toys that they released okay, for droids. Yeah. And what they did is they've scanned them and blown them up to about like 18 inches. <laughs> and you can even buy him in a box that looks like original packaging. Like oh, just cool. a big action figure yeah and i really like it because it like i love how crap it looks in a way yeah it reminds me of the robot chicken stuff yeah <laughs> and they also did an r2 one though from the droids cartoon and it yeah. just looks so crap yeah especially being at that scale and i think that isn't just beautiful at the same time yeah lovely i really like it what else is on that um so they also did a bust of um the white prototype armor okay by ralph mccrory and joe johnson Ooh. which was actually a little bit classier yeah but i also really like that a bit classier well $120. Too classy for me. It's too classy for me, boy. Okay, let's go on something less classy and more suited. Lego! <laughs> so there was no Force Awakens stuff. No, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah. But I imagine it's probably because maybe they don't want to reveal the look of stuff like that too soon. You've seen that in the trailer, but maybe those sets have other figures or minifigs that they yeah. don't want to reveal yet. I'm just saying, I'm just putting that out there. I don't know. But there's some new mini diorama sets. There's a scene from Dago featuring Yoda's hut, Luke's crashed X-Wing, and an R2-D2 minifigure. Yeah. $39.95. Which is quite expensive cents. for a mini uh, mini set. So yeah. Comic-Con, Lego do quite a lot of them. They did... Oh, that's diorama, mini diorama. Little. Uh, they did a really good one of Superman, like the first cover of Action Comics. But yeah. Yeah, this one, it, there's not much to it. But it's quite cute, and you get the little R2 minifig, which is yeah. quite cool. And there's also a buildable first order figure, but that's not available till January. Yeah, I don't really like them per se. Why? Well, Lego action figures. I'd just rather have the minifig rather than an action figure built from Lego. But that one looks cool. Okay. Well, you put it on the list, mate, so it better be. Yeah, that's why I put it on, but I'm just, like, caveating it. So, Funko. Um, Funko are taking over the world with their pop figures. You like Funko, don't you? I do like some Funko. I've got, like, one in my eyeline. I've got a Pennywise the Clown Funko uh, yeah. pop. 
And they've the licensing team has gone into overdrive. You can get Funko Pop anything yeah, now, like yeah, Orange yeah. is the New Black. They've just announced what? I know the Breakfast Club. Mm, I like that. I know, but like they they've got license to everything. But yeah. something that's not yet caught on big time from Funko because they've got other lines. Yeah. Are these things called Hikari, and they're Japanese vinyl style figures. And I was kind of recently tempted to buy a Batman one. Yeah. And what they had at the show were um, they did a Boba Fett one. They did a clone trooper. Vader. But the one that I really liked was yeah. the kind of Matt Vader. And they were selling these at Star Wars Celebration when I was out there. They went instantly. People right. like queued up to get them first thing in the morning. Wow. And they're just really cool, super deformed. And the, something about the art style was just kind of slightly eccentric. Sounds I really cool. like them. I really like them. Lovely. And finally, the first order Stormtrooper Hot Wheels. Why have you given me this one? It's the worst one. No, you said that it looks like the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's a Stormtrooper car. I think we like, yeah, so it's, it's five toys, one that, and then one that we think is a little Spider bit rubbish. Car? Where's in the Spider-Man car? So this is $10. <laughs> Exclusive <laughs> packaging. Um, is out in December, just in time for Christmas. That's good, isn't it? Mental. <laughs> Those are some of our favourite stuff from Comic-Con. What, did you see any cool figures? Let us know, rebelbase at IGN.com for everything else Star Wars. Keep it right here on IGN. Yeah, the Hot Wheels.